I'm Vicky and uh, I live in Pembrokeshire and I'm a third year student at the University of Glamorgan on the Forensic Science course. One of the things we learned this year is fire and explosion investigation. Um, in the lectures it's, it's mostly the how you go through investigating everything. Um, the practical side of it I found absolutely amazing. I felt like I was in an episode of Mythbusters. Um, we got to ignite gunpowder, um, cause an explosion in a contained a tin can which blew the lid off, gave us all a scare. But um, And then in previous years we've had criminalistics where we get to play with um, patterns of blood spatter. Um, we also got to have a go inside the crime scene house, um, going through the practical procedures of um, processing the crime scene. And I think those were definitely my favourite. Also um, the forensic imaging where we had to take photographs and we were told exactly the methodology of it um, and also the filming as well which um, just gave us a really good hands-on experience if we wanted to go into that field in the future. Um, this is basically everybody's favourite place to be. Um, we learn so much on the practical side of things of processing a crime scene and this is where it all happens. It's so much fun. Um, forensic imaging is uh, the process of recording a crime scene through digital pictures and through video film. Um, you would start usually by photographing each corner of the room so it shows basically every detail, everything that is in the room um, and then you would concentrate yourself on the body which we have laying in front of me here. Um, you would normally take a Bird's eye, bird's eye shot first um, and then it'd be your choice whether to take it from the foot view looking up and then the head view looking down and then left and right view at the side and if there's any wounds on the body um, then you could do a close up of that shot to sort of try and get some detail out of the picture. Well um, this is uh, the scene of a blunt force trauma. Um, as you can see there is a lot of blood around the head, so you can tell it she has been hit probably in the back of the head. Um, and by the looks of it, dragged in from the outside by the uh, blood drag marks. Um, the spatter is very, very densely populated all around the top of the shirt um, and also around the nose and the eye, which um, if you're doing crime scene photos you would take a close-up of the area around the nose where there's blood and around the eye just in case it will show up any bruising. On a small scale uh, crime scene, as a, an assisting uh, crime scene officer, you would be expected to cover all aspects of um, investigation of a crime scene and processing the scene itself. Um, you, you would be expected to do things like crime scene sketch, um, lifting of fingerprints, um, collecting and packaging evidence and um, forensic imaging and recording of the crime scene itself. So by your third year you know how to do all of this um, and then by the time you graduate you'll be able to take all those skills into your career in the future. Some universities don't even have a crime scene house so we are so so lucky to have something like this to give us extra training and it's absolutely brilliant.